Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we got an update on the PNB Rock situation, man. It looks like officials are saying that this PNB Rock situation might have to do more with his personal life as opposed to it being some sort of random shooting, man. So this is groundbreaking, man. They're actually looking into PNB's personal life because they might believe that this is a targeted hit and based on this story that we're going to go over man it seems like there might be more to this than what we think because they're not only using the lapd to try to find out who is responsible for shooting and killing pnb rock they're also going and reaching out to philadelphia's police department and working with them to see what kind of beefs he had back home this is crazy man because they're thinking somebody might have actually put the bag on his head and ended up getting PNB Rock killed, man, because of maybe even a beef back home or something. So it's up in the air. So they're not leaving any stone unturned. But before we get to the specifics and talk about all the details, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this PNB Rock situation and how the police believe that this might be more than just a robbery gone bad. This actually might have been a, a targeted hit towards the rapper. Now, in this news story from Revolt, it says this. It says, officials reportedly investigating PNB Rock's personal life in connection to fatal shooting. So basically, they're looking into his personal life to see if there's any connections between that and the shooting that took place in LA. Now, for those of you who don't know, PNB Rock is from Philadelphia. So the fact that he was gunned down in L.A., you would assume it had something to do with L.A. street situations. You know what I mean? Him being in a bad neighborhood, him being robbed for his chain, all of that. But man, they believe there might be more than that. So let's talk about the story. Now, the story starts off by saying this. It says the investigation into PNB Rock's senseless and untimely death continues. And now authorities are looking into whether or not past disagreements may have played a role in the crime. As previously reported by Revolt, the Philadelphia rapper was robbed and fatally gunned down while dining in South Los Angeles on September 12th of this year. Now today, TMZ said that the LAPD sources are looking into his personal life to see if any past interactions influenced last week's devastating events. Stop right there, man. Yo, so basically, TMZ is also reporting that the LAPD is looking into his personal life to see if what's going on. Now, this could be a lot of things. They could be trying to see if somebody was involved in setting this up, you know, back home and let it be known. Like, they could have been a person watching this social media and watching this girl's social media. I mean, there's so many factors in this. I mean, he could have been backdoored. There's a lot, man. He could have been, somebody could have already had a bag on his head. We don't know, man. We don't know at this time. But according to this, LAPD has a good idea that this might be more than just a robbery, you know? So it continues by saying this. Officials are especially interested in the, his ties to Atlanta and his hometown of Philadelphia. Rock reportedly spent a lot of time between the two states. The outlets add that his song lyrics are also being looked into for possible clues. Now, as we know, the lyrics in these songs, the people you shout out, the crews you shout out, they're automatically put on blast anytime something bad happens. So the police are looking into that. Now, don't forget the police in L.A., they already have video that pretty much shows them the suspects. They Both suspects that they seen, one was driving, the other was the person who shot him. So, man, let's let's actually look at a clip of that. The death of rapper PNB Rock. I talk with LAPD Chief Michael Moore about the investigation. The rapper, whose real name is Rakeem Allen, was shot and killed at Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles in South L.A. on Monday. This primary individual who came in and just this violent act and, and this murder uh, was brought there by another, by another individual. When will you release video? Any, any surveillance that you have? Yeah, in the coming, uh, my expectation is this week we're going to be releasing videos. We want to give our detectives time. Uh, we want to give them time to you know, seek and identify tips and leads. The imagery, I will say this, was so great that we could identify the person. We already would have. Now, as you heard from the police chief there for the LAPD, he was basically letting it be known that, yo, if they already knew the person's face or already had a file on them, based on the video evidence that they have, they would already be able to identify them. It'd be a closed case. So this might actually lead into the, the situation people believe in. This might have been somebody from out of town. This might have been a targeted hit. Now, in the same news story, it says this. Originally, officials believed a social media post announcing Rock's location prompted the killing. Now, sources say because the gunman shot Rock multiple times 
instead of simply taking his jewelry and other valuables and fleeing, it may mean the incident was based on more than just a crime of opportunity. They're investigating whether the shooting was a targeted hit. Now that is a big deal because this whole time, a lot of people have been running with the narrative that it was a crime of opportunity, that somebody shot him because they wanted his goods. They wanted his jewels. He was shining too much or whatnot. Now they're looking into the fact that, yo, he's got connections in Atlanta. He's got connections in Philly. And maybe this might be a targeted hit over something else. So, man, let's actually talk about some of his affiliations in Philly. Now, PMB Rock is associated with a group by the name of PMB, right? Several members, they dropped a mixtape during the first time when he started to get hot in the record industry, right? And they've actually been listed under this RICO indictment that's going down in Philadelphia. Now, there's a potential RICO case started on several different groups in Philadelphia, and PMB is one of those listed. So let's actually look at the DA from Philly and what they said about that situation involving those groups. Fighting with the young bag chasers, the same goes for other people and other groups who just keep committing violence, mostly with guns. So Pit Boys, Southside Stizzy, Zoo Gang, PNB, Brickyard Mafia, Topsiders, 5th Street, 7th Street, Wilson Park, time is up. Or are you going to go to the jail? If you illegally carry a firearm, if you point guns at other humans, if you pull the trigger, expect to be held accountable. Now, as you heard from the Philadelphia DA's office, there's several groups in Philadelphia that are being looked at for a lot of the crime, you know, and they're closely affiliated with the drill rappers. Like each one of those crews has a rapper that they're closely affiliated with. And it's led to a lot of back and forth and dissing that's led to a lot of senseless violence and death. Now, PNB was listed in there. So they're going to be looking into PNB's association with different people and what's going on as far as his association with that group and his association with different people in Atlanta. And this is wild because to think that this is a targeted hit as opposed to, you know, a crime of opportunity as it was recently reported, man, that opens the door up for a lot of speculation and what could have went down with PNB Rock, man. And this goes to show that this case and this story is nowhere close to being closed. But y'all tell me in the comments what y'all think about this, man. Do y'all think that since they're going to be investigating into his personal life, even his life in Atlanta, Philadelphia, and everywhere, that there might be something there that we're, that we're missing? And the fact that when the police originally looked at the video, they couldn't initially identify the person as maybe a local criminal in L.A. off the bat. Does that mean that this could be been some people out of town? Does that mean that somebody could have put a bag on PNB Rock's head? Also, is there a possibility now that he was backdoored by somebody or did his past life catch up to him at a wrong opportunity or at the right opportunity for whoever wanted him out of here. Now with that, man, I want to say RIP once again to PNB Rock, but y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. And before you get up out of here, hold up, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. So that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content and we out of here. Peace.